this thing's messing me up over here. Here's your piano. And the way it works is that all the white keys are all na are all naturals. All the black keys are all sharps. So that if you're on the note A and you walk up five, A, B, C, D, E, E, D, C, B, A, one, two, three, four, five. So if I said what's the second away from A, the answer would be B. If I said what's the third, the answer would be C. A, B, C, one, two, three. And then it just goes up continually just like that. So let's do another example really quick. And let's do, for example, the key of C. Alright? So if I were to do C, D, E, F, what's a fourth away from, from, uh, from C? Well, the answer is F. Because it's literally four notes away. Now, as I said, that when you have these sharps here, the only thing that they're good for in this context is when you're in a certain key signature. And as you all may or may not know, you should from, uh, from the other day, is know your key signatures from the circle fifths uh, video that I did earlier. So let's say that you're in the key of F. Okay? If I were to walk up F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, this is your F major scale when I flatten that B. Okay? Actually, you know what? Let's make it a little bit, e a little bit easier. Instead of doing the key of F, let's do the, the key of G. Okay? Uh, yo, what's up, Steve Meister? Thanks a lot for, for tuning in. Okay, so let's do the key of G. Let's all walk up a G major scale. What's up, uh, what's up, student? A, a G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This is a G major scale when I sharpen this F. And the reason why is because remember that when you're in the key of G, G has one sharp. And in the order of sharps and flats, the F is what gets sharpened. Now this is a lot for everyone, which it may or may or which it may or may not be, is that you can simply reply or uh, simply review on my circle of fifths video. That'll help you guys out a ton. And so in that video, you'll see that the key of G has one sharp. So now let's just continue this concept. If I'm in the key of G right here, my first note's G. What's the third note? B. So when I'm discussing intervals in the key of G, if I say play a Play, play a third interval in the key of G. The answer would be G to B. Another third interval would be from A to C. Another third, B to D. Because look, all I'm doing is I'm skipping. One, two, three. So if I said, what's a third interval from D? The answer is not F natural. Okay? That's wrong. The answer is F sharp. Because F natural is not in the key of G. F sharp is. So let's continue this concept and walk up it. If I'm doing this, okay, there's your treble clef, and let's draw five lines. I, I was told that, that, that Korean doesn't show up that well. Just so anyone that just tuned in, we're working on intervals in this uh, in class today. If there's any questions, simply hit me up or Skype me or anything and you know, or tell me to stop and I'll answer your questions for you. If not, I'm just going to keep on continuing. Intervals in a piece of music is the distance between one note and the other. And it's quite simple. Let me just explain it. So here's your treble clef. Here's your five staff lines. If I'm on the note G, like, like we just did, remember what I said. G, A, uh, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. If I'm on G, the third interval from G is going to be B. Because look, one, two, three, G, A, B. And so you have G, A, B. So from this note to this note is a third interval. From this note to this note is a fifth interval. Because here's your G, and here's your D. Okay? Now, does anyone have any questions about that? Uh, what an interval was, but now I know that it's a space between the notes. Yeah. Um, 